Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. Last week I posted a Zara and Revolve haul. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. And today's haul is going to be a House of CB haul. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love House of CB. I think their designs are beautiful. I think the quality is amazing, but I know it is very expensive. And I'm gonna be honest, I do find some pieces are worth the price and some are not. So let's go ahead and look at what I got and I'm going to share with you what I think, my honest, true opinions about everything, whether House of CB is worth it or not. Let's get into it. Okay, so first up is this little top here. It is absolutely stunning. Let me show you it close up so you can see the little details. It has this beautiful flower embroidery on it. These tiny little buttons, so you can button it all the way up. You can have it like kind of unbuttoned, a little bit sexy. I'm actually wearing it with that Revolve Maxi skirt from my last haul. I think these two look beautiful together. They both have such stunning embroidery. By the way, I'm gonna link everything in the description, but let's get into the quality. So I do think this is beautifully constructed. The details are absolutely gorgeous. I also like the top here because it's adjustable. You can kind of pull on it and it gets a little bit tighter. Uh, by the way, I picked this up in an extra small. Okay, the dress I'm about to show you is probably what I'm most excited about. Here she is. It's this gorgeous red dress. This is just absolutely beautiful. When I saw this on the website, I knew I had to have it. The red is gorgeous. I feel like I look really good in red too, so it's just perfect. The ruffles are very, very beautiful. They're so in right now too. Like if you've noticed, literally everything has ruffles or some sort of flowers. Actually, I didn't even notice that you can see this other outfit. I'm saving that for another haul, but you can see it hanging right there. Again, it's got plenty of ruffles. Now let's talk about the actual construction of the dress. I didn't actually know it was see-through, can you see? Can you tell? I don't know. Like, I can definitely make this work. I just think it's so, so beautiful. Another thing that worries me, though, is the slit. I might have to add a little stitch or something just so that I don't expose myself while walking because <laughs> it does go up pretty high. I'm not gonna lie. It goes up pretty high. Okay, on to the third piece. Look at how stunning this dress is. I love the sleeves. I think they're gorgeous. The silhouette is stunning. It really cinches you right in. It doesn't have boning, though. I thought it would because I have a few other dresses with a very similar silhouette from House of CB. They do have boning. This one doesn't, but I still find it fits beautifully. Again, up here, you can kind of like loosen this or tighten it to make it fit you, but it looks beautiful. I love the sleeves. I was worried they might be a little much because they are huge, but I think they look beautiful, especially when you pull them off the shoulder like this. I think that looks stunning. I love the print as well. The print is so, so beautiful. This like white and blue just reminds me of Greece or something. I do have to get this taken in though because it's just a little bit long as you can see here, but that's good for all you tall girls out there. Okay, here is the final piece. It is this gorgeous dress. Like I said, I love the silhouette of these dresses. I think they're so, so flattering, but this one again is not as tight as other dresses I have from House of CB, which confuses me because I get everything in an extra small. That's just the size I go for, so I just don't know why they're fitting so differently. It's still beautiful though, don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful dress, as you can see. It's beautifully made. I just wish it was a little bit tighter. Another thing I noticed is that other dresses I have, they also have the boning right here, but this one doesn't have the boning. Um, I might get this one taken in. I actually probably will definitely get it taken in, just so it could like snatch me up a little bit, but I think it's still a beautiful, beautiful dress. I love the print. The material is very nice. It's very heavy. I see a lot of brands knocking off House of CB, specifically like this style of dress. When I see them in real life, you could just tell it's a knockoff. It's so poorly constructed. The material is always so thin. They still look cute, but like when you're actually looking at quality, this like material has some weight to it. Like the construction is beautiful. Look at my little collection of cottagecore House of CB dresses. I'm obsessed. I love them so much. Unfortunately, that is everything. I wish I had more pieces to show you, but I do not. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. If you like this vibe, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, love you.